Uh oh. Tom Sandoval is starring the new Lifetime movie, Tall, Dark, and Dangerous. Oh, heck of a title. He is joining us now. Hey, Welcome, Tom. man. How you guys doing? Hey. Good to be here. So, you're acting here. Yes. This is, a, is it a good for you? Is that something you always wanted to get into or just sort of presented itself? Oh, uh, it's why I moved out to California. I mean, it was to pursue acting. That was always, you know, the goal. And then, you know, Vanderpump Rules happened and obviously that got put on, you know, put on hold or sort of just like forgotten about for a while. But uh, but it's nice to be back and doing it, be back behind the camera acting. Uh, you know, this, not having to deal with such high stakes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that you're laughing about that because 2023 was quite the year for you. It was quite the year. Where are we in 2024? If we come out of all of that? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, that's why I'm, I'm really excited about the premiere because it's like the, you know, the sooner the show airs, the sooner we, we get through it because obviously the show, you know, it picks up like right where we're pretty much where we left off. Um, Are you talking about Vanderpump now? Yeah, yeah. Vanderpump, yeah. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was uh, very intense. You know, my, my wife show. watches the show all the time, right? And so yeah. I'm, I'm in the background kind of walking around. And I think it was the reunion or something, and everybody's kind of going in on you, and I'm kind of vaguely picking up all this stuff. I'm like, why are they yelling at that poor dude so much? Why, what's going on? She kind of filled me in. I'm like, has everybody else lived, like, a perfect life? Are they all angels on that set? She's like, oh, no. They've been like, well, then what are they telling? Why didn't you fire back a little bit? I'm like, you, I would have been like, hey, don't be, you know, throwing uh, rocks at a, a glass house because you did this, you did this, you did that. I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> I'm not and not just what I picked up, like, walking by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. Sometimes people have, uh, you know. And they were acting like angels. Loss. Yeah. But, uh. <laughs> But you know, everybody also they they have feelings like, and you know they are entitled to their feelings, and and you know we do, you know that's the thing. This this upcoming season, it was it was a hell of a journey. I mean, 2023 was the longest year of my life for sure, uh, but it was it was really intense. Uh, and this season, you know, on the show, it's like you're really gonna see like that journey back because obviously we're all around each other, we are coexisting, and and you know. It, it was uh, it was the most divided our cast and friends have ever been. Was there a chance that you didn't go back, or did you not want to go back? And I'm sure they came to you. There was there was a point in time where I was like, I, I can't do this because it was it was like every day was just an, one insane thing after another. Like it was a lot. Yeah, I was like, they're treating this dude like he went on a murdering spree. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were talking too that reality TV. We watch it for fodder. It's your real life. So then I was thinking to go back and have to shoot with all these people that were your friend, like you were all a unit, that had to be incredibly difficult. How did you get through it? Uh, I just, I just, you know, one thing I, I, I was like, I'm just gonna show up, I'm just gonna take it, and, uh, and I did. I, I, I mean, at the reunion, you know, I was there, I took it for like hours, and then I went to BravoCon, I had like 5,000 people there, people booing me, and like, uh, you know, I showed up for, this season, I showed up when our band toured. I had to look people in their eyeballs, like that are wearing like uh, worm with a mustache shirts, and like, <laughs> dude, it was intense. It was like bungee jumping going out there. Yeah. And I like, I quit drinking for like eight months, so I'm doing that like sober and like, it was. Okay. Really that was not a good intense. time to quit. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the best. It was that part of getting rid of the stash. You're like, look, I'm, it's not the worm with the stash. It's done. I mean, I like to change my looks up a lot. You know, that was uh, that was that era. You know, uh, right. Uh, yeah. Good for you, Matt. And ironically, <laughs> it made the show hotter than ever. Yeah. So, that's if what you, I said. If they you want to see uh, uh, silver lining in it and all. But now it brought us to, to the movie. So let's get back to yeah. Tall, Dark, and Dangerous. Tell us about that. So uh, so this movie, it's uh, it's on the Lifetime Movie Channel, uh, uh, Movie Network, sorry. And it's, uh, it's you know, a Valentine's oh. Day thriller. And Eric Roberts is in it. Jamie Bernadette plays Alice. She basically goes on a dating uh, app and starts looking for Mr. Right. And then, of course, gets uh, gets catfished. Um, and things get things heat up. They get a little interesting, you know? <laughs> it's part of their Valentine's Day, their vicious Valentine's Day rollout that they do. They have different themes, uh, like, every month. Did you get to shoot that here in L.A.? Or? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It was nice, too, because it was, like, back in, like, April when I really, like, was looking for things like this, like, to just put myself into something that is was outside of the scandal. You know, same thing with, like, doing Special, special Forces. Special Forces, which that you was did great really, on. really great for me, like, just 
couldn't have been a perfect time for that. Good time. What about us. your band, going back out with your band? Are you getting, because I feel like a lot of the fans were fans of the show. Yeah. And that, how, how were, was that a mixed bag for you? Um, do you sing? You play guitar? What do you do? Yeah, I do both. I also play trumpet sometimes uh, okay. as well. Yeah, we do. It's a it's a nine person cover band. Uh, you know, we play everything: seventies, eighties, nineties. Do everything from Cake really? by the Ocean to Billy Ocean to The Weekend to Florence and the Machine to Chicago to okay, like everything, like nice. Fall Out Boy. Like we do all of it. Like and we like to we like to take songs where people wouldn't touch them with like a ten foot pole. Like you know, we'll do like. Ripping the Muse hysteria, do like Wolf Mother, like yeah. Joker and the Thief. Nine like, piece, that's a lot. Yeah, we have a full brass section, keyboard, wow. guitar. I love a brass section. We have another female singer. We do uh, Jackson 5, like we do yeah. everything. Where can people find, uh, where to find you on the band? So you can go to Tom Sandoval and themostextras.com. And also we have shows coming up like this weekend in Sacramento too. Uh, and then we have uh, a show here at, um, at the uh, Adventure of the Majestic and then like the Music Box in San Diego. Those are on the 9th and the 10th, and uh, that's going to be our February tour that's up right now. Oh, and then we have go. another big one coming up at the end of uh, April and into May. Right on, man. Well, Tom, welcome to 2024. <laughs> Thank Forward you. motion for Thank everybody. Thank you very much. Good luck. You can check out Tom in Tall, Dark, and Dangerous February 8th on Lifetime and on Vanderpump Rules airing Tuesdays on Bravo.